Morning and welcome back to the 6.8 liter garage. Um, today I'm going to cut out, so a little bit of a flashback. A month, month and a half ago, I made a hook for a YouTuber called My Life Deliberately. He, does, among other things, he does uh, milling of logs on his property. And I was watching him turn the logs and it was, he was having difficulty, so I had this idea that using a strap, he has a tractor, so using a strap and his tractor and this hook, he would be able to hook the logs and flip them. So, um, actually, I know he just recently put up a short, so uh, using the hook. So, we'll look at that right here. You can see he, um, he wrapped the strap around um, the front, let's see. Yeah, the front side and then back around behind and then hook it on the log. And then as he lifts with his tractor, it spins the log. Um, which is kind of cool because it relieves pressure from the mill so it's not all resting on the mill it doesn't impact the mill as hard and it rolls it towards the stops so anyway I was watching him struggle with the uh, flipping it by hand and that idea came to my mind so I I sent him one and he likes it and um, I've had some inquiries uh, inquiries directly to my YouTube channel and he's had some inquiries so I was thinking I probably should just cut some out in case somebody does actually uh, kick down some cash and wants to buy one. Um, and um, the ma only material I have is the remnants from the piece that I bought just to try it. And um, it's a 12 by 16. And so I did something I haven't done before. I got into uh, sheet cam and did nesting. And no, not nesting like pregnant ladies, building a house. Uh, Nesting meaning taking the parts and arranging them on the material so that you can maximize your cut. Um, you maximize your productivity on the material. So, so I arranged the, ho the hooks and I was able to get four on this. I've got a 12 by 16 sheet of quarter inch. So I'm going to cut out four hooks on here. And uh, well, the plan is to cut out four hooks. I got them kind of close together and they're really to the edges of the material. So we'll see how well I do and uh, see if we can get ho four hooks out of this material. Anyway, le let's get to cutting and see how it comes out. Okay, I've got the drawing all loaded up. Um, got the cut 60 set, uh, set at 45, in uh, 45 amps. Got 60 PSI. And the uh, arc droid's set to cut at 47 inches per minute, which is good for quarter inch for the cut 60 that's a, that's what it's rated to do um, I've got everything all clamped down so hopefully nothing will move and I think we're ready to go we'll give her a try and see what happens move you guys closer so you, <laughs> you can see the uh, success or failure firsthand and we'll Start her up. Here we go. So as you saw the spark you start seeing sparks on the top like that something's wrong so it wasn't cutting through um, kind of didn't expect that because I was very careful to check everything but I did the only thing I can think of the air is right I didn't adjust the amperage but I'm going to slow it down a little bit I think maybe 47 inches per minute is optimistic for a quarter inch for that machine um, it's all grounded. I'm not sure it was cutting really well and then right here it wasn't completely cutting through and then it started cutting through again so uh, maybe something got on the tip and then cleared itself. I don't know. The good news is with everything clamped down it's very simple to rerun the program. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rerun the program with the torch off and then as it gets to right about here I'll click the torch on 
and we'll let it finish. So let's do that now. And it's going to go slower. But if it cuts the parts, that's what matters. So I didn't intend to make a recovery video, but this happens, so if you need to recover one of your cuts, this is kind of what I do. You can put a piece of metal to prevent the tip from going through if you have holes. Okay, so that is very hot. I'm not interested in touching anything yet. But as you can see, I maximized what I could get out of that. For the most part, I maximized what I could get out of that piece of metal. Um, right here, when I nested these two, they're kind of close together. It didn't seem to cause any problems, but it's probably closer than ideal. Uh, almost cutting on the same line. Um, this is probably a little bit better. But uh, yeah, it all fit on there just about right. Um, that one little mess up on the first cut, I think, uh, you know, maybe not believe the specs of your plasma cutter and, you know, if it claims 47, maybe 40, that's what I went with. So, I will let that cool off, get some paint on it, well, clean up whatever's needed to be cleaned up, and I'll put some paint on it. Alright, so I got the hooks all cleaned up. Um, you can see here, I used a grinder, I used a piece of scrap, it looked like a tomahawk to try to knock off some of the dross it speed things up what well, you can knock off that helps and then um, hit him with a grinding wheel and uh, anyway took off any rough edges and uh, sharp edges and as you can see now the hooks are sitting here in the uh, 6.8 liter oven straight from the 6.8 liter paint booth outside the, the Omni draft we'll call it because it's kind of windy today so not exactly easy to get the paint on there but anyway, so I've got the four hooks all painted up and um, the uh, experiment or the learning endeavor of using the nesting feature of, uh, of sheet cam seems to have worked out okay. I was able to get maximize my use of the material and now I've got four hooks. So those people that have in, uh, expressed an interest in a hook, uh, reach out to me and uh, we'll see if we can put something together and get you one. Um, anyway, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you can. It helps out. It really does help out. And uh, leave some comments. It's nice to hear what people think. You know, tell me what I did wrong and uh, tell me what, I, you know, other ideas or or if I did something that, you know, even in a prior video that you got something out of. It's always great to hear a comment. So, anyway, I uh, appreciate you watching.